to this weekend's grand opening of the new exhibit at the Frick Pittsburgh. It's a blockbuster display of the personal art collection of Paul and Bunny Mellon. The late Pittsburgh-born philanthropist and his wife collected horses, race cars, and art. This highly anticipated exhibit at the Frick is filled with their original French masterpieces, many of them once hung in their home, one by Vincent van Gogh, even, huh, get this, above their bathtub. The exhibition just opened Saturday and is already drawing huge crowds. Here to tell us about how the Frick brought these pieces back to Paul Mellon's hometown is Frick Pittsburgh Executive Director Robin Nicholson. Robin, so great to have you with us this morning. Well, thank, thank you. you for having me. We were chatting a little bit before the show, and this is pretty impressive to bring this exhibit here. You're saying already you're seeing larger than expected crowds of people. We did. Our member preview on Friday was the biggest we've ever had, and then Saturday was one of the biggest days we've ever had at the museum. I mean, ever 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 it was so packed it was amazing what response. do you think is making so many people want to go is it because these are um, pieces by really famous French artists it's really famous French artists they're very beautiful pieces that the melons personally collected that they treasured um, and there's also a number of works that haven't been seen for a generation because Bunny Mellon just died in 2013 and so um, the works were held in trust for her and have not been seen for, a, a, as I say, a generation. So these are a new works by major artists. And they've not been on display. Some of them haven't been on display before on exhibit. That's correct, yes. There's an important work by Degas. There's a, the Van Gogh that hung above the, the bathtub, as you say. Those works just haven't been shared. And this collection will only travel probably once in its lifetime and will never travel again. It's only because the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, where it comes from, is doing a major restoration of the 1985 wing that Paul yes. Mellon paid for, that we have this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to travel the collection and see it in Paul Mellon's birthplace. So essentially, the Virginia Museum is where it's on, on loan from. They're doing a renovation, and so that's what allowed it to be able to come here to Pittsburgh. Right, and I worked for nine years at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, so I had a kind of insider view of what was going to happen. So ever since I came to Pittsburgh, I've been negotiating to bring this collection to Pittsburgh as the opening venue for this once in a lifetime touring exhibition. Glad to have you here. Let's get to some of those pictures so you can tell us exactly what we're seeing. Now, what is this first picture that we're seeing? This is one of the Degas, uh, Edgar Degas, that yes. had not been seen before. It's called At the Milliners. It's an extraordinary painting. Uh, Degas always wanted to slightly perplex the viewer, which is why the sitter in this, the lady with the hat, you can't see her face in the mirror. Uh, this is a kind of puzzle, but it's a fascinating puzzle, and it's what Degas loved to play around with with his paintings. I love that. It's beautiful. Everyone knows this. The Degas Little Dancer, one of the most famous sculptures in the world. When it was first exhibited at the Impressionist Exhibition in 1886, the critics hated it. Really? They thought it was ugly. They oh thought my. it was so inappropriate to show a work like this. But how tastes have changed, and everybody adores this now. Yes. We're going to show a couple more, I believe. Raoul Dufy, a French artist, painted in 1942. This is one of the paintings that the Mellons didn't frame. Okay. They just hung it on a nail on the wall. They, they, they loved paintings, but they didn't really have a snobbery about it. So they no just, framing, just on the wall with a nail? Just on the wall oh with a nail. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and they also collected horses. Tell us about this painting. This is one of Paul Mellon's favorites. It's an early picture in the exhibition by Theodore Jaricot, who was a romantic artist. Uh, and it just shows Paul's greatest love, other than art, was horses. Uh, he bred great race winners at his estate in Upperville where many of these paintings hung and this was just a characteristic example of the sort of paintings he loved. Okay. And then there's beautiful Monet, one of four Monets mm. in the exhibition showing Monet's first wife Camille standing at the window of their house near Paris surrounded by uh, flowers which of course was Bunny Mellon's greatest love and again this is a sort of the sort of picture that Bunny Mellon just adored and which she treasured. And then an extraordinary work by a primitive artist, uh, Henri Rousseau, who painted these extraordinary scenes, which the avant-garde artist in Paris uh, thought were fabulous, even yes. though he was totally untrained. And he has developed an extraordinary reputation. This is quite an astonishing work altogether. And there, tell us about this one. The, 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 <laughs> this is the Van Gogh that yes. hung above the bath place. And when it came to Virginia, we found these little white specks on it. And our scientists analyzed the white specks, and guess what? It was toothpaste. Toothpaste? Toothpaste, because oh this, is, this is hung next to the sink in Bunny Mellon's bathroom, and as she was 
toothpasting and flossing <laughs> and everything. Inevitably, and it got a few specks on it. Here's the thing, though. I mean, we know that these people were very well to do, obviously, the melons. But would you hang a Van Gogh anywhere in your bathroom in your home? I guess if you're that rich, <laughs> then it doesn't really matter. But Really? Uh, yeah. So was the toothpaste removed from Absolutely. It? The painting has been restored, framed, and just looks spectacular. So what should people expect if they're coming to see that? I think there are 70 uh, pieces, is that There's correct? There's about 70 works. It's time tickets, so I definitely book in advance rather than trying to just show up. Um, we expect it to be incredibly popular, but the good news is it's on for almost four months till July the 8th. So there's plenty of opportunity, but, d but don't delay because it gets, it'll get really busy towards the end. So let's say, Robin, that someone isn't um, an art lover, or they can't maybe know how to appreciate art. It's still worth going to see. What these, do you say to that person who, let's say, who that doesn't have the trained eye of these works? They are beautiful works by some of the greatest French artists of the 19th century. They were treasured by the Melons because they were so personal, so intimate. They are small, they're accessible, uh, and they're just spectacular. It's, it's a visual feast. Absolutely. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Now, don't miss your chance to see those original masterpieces by Van Gogh, Monet, Degas, and others at the Frick Pittsburgh when the Mellon Collection of French Art is on display now through July 8th. The museum is open Tuesdays through Sundays to get more details and those timed tickets. They highly recommend you get the timed tickets online. You will find the link at kdka.com slash PTL.